Just before the canyon appeared, I heard a faint sound, like something mechanical turning. Kerchuk, kerchuk, kerchuk. Could it have been the central hub? Hmm. That would mean this canyon appeared after it started spinning. Hey, you, uh. Oh. New guys, huh? Here. You actually saw her? <laughs> She's barely shown her face since everything started falling apart here. Uh, excuse me for asking, but who are you? Oh, right. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Ferdinand. Me and my brothers look after this whole zone. Well, we used to, until this whole domain was, like, flipped upside down or whatever. The method we were using to make the carts and tracks stopped working after that. Idea is working on repairing the domain. We were just with her before coming here. Really? Huh. I assume that she'd be curled up in a fetal position somewhere, hoping all her problems will magically disappear on their own. Good for her. Anyway, I checked all the stations around the whole circuit. They've all conked out. Conked out? How? Would you mind elaborating a little for us? Uh, but aren't you just travelers who stumbled upon this place by accident? Nuh-uh! I'm Mage Klee, Idea's helper. A mage? You? <laughs> Allow me to explain. Okay, I gotcha. Well, right now the more helpers we got, the better, I guess. Anyway, our first priority is to get the carts here up and running again. Oh? And why is that? The roads here twist and turn so much that the best way to get around is by riding the rail tracks instead. Let me show you. This is what we used to make them. Did Dia bring you up to speed on these things? Yep. Basically, we need something that we can put inside that'll make a card for us. Mm, like what? Can it be anything as long as it looks like a card? Yeah, you could put it that way. But one other thing is that it has to be compatible with the tracks. So, something like a sedan chair, maybe? Mm, but I'm not sure we have all the materials required to build one of those. How about you, Traveler? Any ideas? Hmm. That would solve the issue of materials. Wood's no good. A rickety wooden cart would be too dangerous. Really? Hey, everyone. Come and see what Klee made. Whoa! It fits a track like a glove, too. Plus, it's a heck of a lot cuter than the ones Adia made. <laughs> I just wanted to give it a try, and suddenly, boom! There it was! Paimon's gotta ask, what exactly did you make your cart from, Klee? I used Jumpy Dumpty! So... Hmm, is there a problem or something? If not, then let's get ready to leave. It's just... Th this card is made from... um... It's a bomb or something, isn't it? Yeah, I gathered from your conversation that Jumpy Dumpty is a little more volatile than the cute name suggests. 
It's okay, though, because the end product only takes on the general look of the source material. Uh, so to be more specific, while different materials have different properties, most of them aren't transferred to... Uh... It's okay! No need to delve into the theoretical stuff. Paimon just wanted to make sure we aren't about to end up like the, uh... Flying fish of Starfell Lake. Huh? Can we ride the cart now? In a moment, we need a Hydro Idolin to power it up first. Okay, she's ready to roll. Hop in. The track is damaged up ahead. We need to make some repairs before we can go any further. Yep, looks like it's all reverted to a preprint state here. Do you know why that happened? Everything in this domain starts as a preprint and only takes shape after being illuminated by the streaming projector. But the Hydro Idolon that forms the tracks here has been trapped in the print. So someone needs to go into the preprint and rescue the Hydro Idolon, right? But the projector here is sealed up by a giant. That's the Hydro Idolin's way of protecting the device from damage. If the streaming projector broke, then we'd be seriously stuck. Aha! So for step one, we need Water Droplet to help! Aww, it seems to really like that name! <laughs> um, any volunteers for step two? So the Hydroid Dolan was locked up in that chest. Let's keep going then.
No, no. The Hydra Idolans are like helpers here. As for my brothers, well... <sighs> those two. You'll meet them soon enough. Keep this close. We've just about finished repairing the station and the connecting tracks. Let's go check the track switcher now. It's over there. A reward on the road. Oh, there's another spinny thing here. It's so big. But uh not as big as the one we saw in the middle of this place. That one was huge. I bet it's something super important. I remember what Kaya said earlier. Very good, Klee. You're using what you saw earlier to make observations, like a real adventurer. Hmm. It appears to be a system that rotates to switch tracks. That's right. Originally, all you had to do was flip this switch and the junction would rotate. Hmm, but it seems Jeremy still hasn't fixed it yet. He sure talks big, but when it comes to actually getting things done... Is this Jeremy you mentioned one of your brothers? Yeah. When I talked to him about repairing the tracks, I suggested we start with the station. But he said we should start at the junction. Really, it made no difference which one we started with. But he just had to turn it into a huge argument. He always treats me like I'm a fool and disagrees with anything I say. Hmm. 
Let's see what he has to say now that I've already fixed the tracks. Well, if you ask me, you're clearly a sharp person, Ferdinand. Yes! Finally someone who can recognize that, rather than just shrugging off my ideas. Come on, let's make our way to the junction and see what he's up to. I bet he's still fretting over what to do. Sometimes I can't help but get angry just thinking of Jeremy. You should have seen him back in the sandstorm. I suggested we go east, and he argued that we should go west. You wanted to see the storm? What happened after that? We separated and each went our own way. Lucky for us, we stumbled across this domain. Otherwise, I'm sure we would have been buried in the sand. Everything will get better once we get the switcher working again. Hmm. Still stuck here just as I expected. Well, did you make any progress? Didn't I already tell you? Just have the Hydroidolans fix the junction and then make a new cart. After that, we can use the junction to... Wait a minute, how did you get here? It took a lot of effort for me to climb all the way up here. The answer is standing right in front of you. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Those travelers must have helped you. You never get anything done on your own. You always get someone else's help and then try to take the credit for yourself. You're one to talk. What have you managed to accomplish, huh? You were here just moping around all day. Oh, they started arguing the moment they saw each other. But aren't they supposed to be brothers? Ha! <laughs> Me? His brother? <laughs> Hardly. <sighs> All right, Jeremy. That's enough. <sighs> Fine. I'd rather be focusing my efforts on fixing the track switch rather than arguing anyway. You should calm down too, Ferdinand. Let's all focus on the situation at hand. Any personal problems can be settled later. Fine. I'm sorry you had to see that. My name's Jeremy. I'm one of the people responsible for taking care of this area. I assume you're the ones who helped repair the tracks. Thank you very much. It means a lot. No need to thank us. We're just trying to help Idea restore the domain. I see. Now that you and Ferdinand brought the cart up here, we'll need the Hydroidolans to fix the area below. Them again, huh? Seems the Hydroidolans are really important around this place. Yes, of course. Not only do they keep the junction turning, they operate practically everything else in the domain, too. Seems most of the tracks and junctions have been repaired now. Yep. So maybe it's time you give credit where credit is due, hmm? What? You think you deserve the credit? If anything, we should be thanking these travelers. Uh, you... Well, either way, you're not the one getting any credit. You're always quick to criticize my ideas and push your own, but you never actually get anything done. And what about you? 
Don't forget it was Hado and I who took care of the mess that one time you impulsively tried one of your brilliant ideas. Uh, speaking of Hado, wasn't he with you? I left early this morning. I assumed he'd be with you. Seriously? Couldn't you have at least looked to see where he was before you left? Hey, come on! You didn't see him either, so what's your excuse? Clee? I don't get it. Nobody did anything bad. Why are they arguing? I... Uh, I just don't like his smug attitude, that's all. Who are you calling smug? If anything, you're the one who's making such a big fuss right now. All right, I think we've heard enough from you two. If you insist on bickering, then I'd suggest you go somewhere else. Otherwise, I'll just cool you two off myself. Uh... <sighs> now, come with me. I'd like to have a word with you. Phew. Don't be upset, Glee. There are many complicated situations in this world which don't always have a logical explanation. As a passing traveler here, it's not my place to comment on their disputes. But in my experience, family issues can be the toughest to resolve. Seems you don't like dealing with this kind of thing either, Kokomi. But it's still not right. I don't know how to explain my feelings. I'm sorry. We've calmed down. We shouldn't argue in front of a child like that. We're sorry, Klee. It's okay. Back to the topic at hand. Weren't you about to go look for your brother, Hado? Ah, right. Our best guess is he's somewhere around the Torrential Twister. We would have to use the junction to send a cart to another area. Sorry to trouble you again, but would you help us find him? Oh, um, all right. Hey, come on, you two. You're brothers after all. Can't you try to get along? Okay, this is the end of this track segment. Auto should be nearby.
keep this close. Ah, I guess you had repaired the tracks and stations as soon as I saw a cart come zipping along. <coughs> Now that the tracks, station, and carts are all repaired, we're about ready to reopen Torrential Twister. It will be good to see my design back in action again. Ugh. You're in no condition to be out running around like this, Hato. <laughs> yeah, but these are unusual circumstances. <coughs> That's true, but you should stop to think things through. Exactly. If there's anything that needs to be done, you can just let Ferdinand and I take care of it. <laughs> you and Ferdinand? Together? It would be a miracle for you two to do anything together without fighting. Hey! That's between Jeremy and me. No need to add fuel to the fire, okay? Uh, I'm not trying to make trouble. I'm just saying. <coughs> Oh, uh, don't worry. We're not arguing, Klee. We're just, uh, discussing some things. Are you and Jeremy worried about Hado? Hmm? Why don't you just talk to him about it? Kaya's also worried about me sometimes, but he doesn't ever criticize me. You're right. But our relationship is much better than these guys. Uh, well, our situation is a little different. Really? How so? We've been through this kind of thing before. If we didn't warn Hado, then he wouldn't take it seriously and something would eventually happen. As his brothers, we have to help him. But it doesn't look like you're helping. Huh? Maybe Klee doesn't understand everything. But my mommy told me that you help someone to make them feel happy, not to make yourself happy. Hado sure doesn't look very happy. Why don't you ask him what he needs? Hmm. Klee's right, you know. You three need to open up and talk things through. You are brothers, after all. <sighs> I, um, ahem. I've always cared a lot about you, Hado. Just like when we were back in the desert. You suddenly passed out, and Jeremy and I started arguing. Eventually, all three of us ended up in this domain. I'm just worried that something similar could happen again. If you were to pass out and with nobody around to help you... <sighs> I know. But this domain is nowhere near as dangerous as the desert. I was thinking that if I could handle these problems myself, then you two wouldn't have to argue about anything. If it weren't for my poor health and lack of energy all the time, then I wouldn't have always been such a burden on you two. No need to feel guilty, Hado. This was our choice. The three of us love adventuring. No one is a burden on anyone. Isn't that why we came up with the idea for this area? I would do the thinking, Ferdinand would use his muscle, and you would... Draw the blueprints and build tracks. It'll be a safe way to see all kinds of amazing scenery. Yes, that was the plan. <laughs> see? Doesn't it feel better just to get along? Hey, what are you trying to say? You make it sound like I've only been trying to talk myself up. The choo-choo cart is great, Ferdinand. Really? You know, Clean. Having the car zip along the tracks was my idea. Yeah, what an amazing idea! You're so smart! Hey, Klee, do you want to ride even more fun carts? Yay! Let's ride more! Looks like all three of them are trying to win Klee's approval now. Klee hasn't realized it yet, but her innocent, childlike nature is very powerful. It can inspire and even help heal others. Hey, everyone. Please come with me. We need to get the Hydro Eidolon in the cart to help us.
Good. The torrential twister is ready to run. Let's go to the station at the start of the track. Otto and I have double-checked everything. It's all operating safely. You can go for a ride now. Hold on a sec. Before we say goodbye, I have something I'd like to give you all. It's a rock climbing rope. We used it on our adventures to climb mountains and traverse many places. Huh? But doesn't it mean a lot to you? Are you sure you want to give it to us? Yes, of course. Please take it. Thanks to Klee and everyone else's help, we realize that there's a special bond that keeps us together. Even though it's invisible, it's even more important than rope. We can always hold on to it through tough situations. Huh? I helped? <laughs> yes, Klee. You are a big help. Even bigger than that huge thing in the middle of this place? Yes, much bigger. Wow, that's huge! I'm so happy! By the way, have you ever seen anything like the choo-choo cart in the outside world? Nope. Today was the first time I rode anything like it. Is that so? <coughs> I guess I'm not surprised. Seems you won't find Torrential Twister anywhere else. Be sure to come back and ride the choo-choo carts again while you still have the chance. Thank you. 
Thanks again. I have a feeling we'll get along much better now that we've learned to open up to each other. I suppose some things are simpler than they appear. The real problem all along was actually us. Hey, imagine if we could build our tracks all over the world. Traveling would be so much easier. <coughs> Be sure to come back and visit Torrential Twister again. I hope you enjoyed it. Sort of makes sense. Wait, but if being able to fly makes you a mage, what does that make Kaya, since he's here too? Nothing! Kaya's just the master thief! Don't you remember, Paimon? Hmm. Oh, right! Guess it slipped Paimon's mind. <laughs> Sorry to bother our young mage. But there's something a master thief would like to report. Do you still remember our mission? Uh-oh. I was having so much fun that I almost forgot. We're supposed to be helping Adia look for the missing components. But don't worry. I've already got one. You mean you snatched it when we weren't looking? <laughs> I didn't have to go that far. In fact, the component we were searching for was actually that orange rope. If anything, you could say it came right into our hands at the right time. Let's head back and give it to Adia. Aw, oh, do we really have to go? <sighs> okay. Even though I want to keep playing, I know Adia is really important. That's our ways, mage. <sighs> Don't worry. Tonight, you'll be able to see stars in the water and watch fish dance in the sky. Uh, seems Kokomi's out of it after that ride. Her face is completely blank and her lip was trembling while she was speaking. <sighs> Maybe we should have a rest for a while. Uh, huh? I thought I was keeping my composure pretty well. Don't worry. My mind is always spinning. I'm used to this. We should head back to Idea. How about we hold hands, Miss General? Klee will give you energy. Uh -huh. 
After holding Klee's hand, the stars in the sky and the fish in the water have all disappeared. I must have been seeing things from riding the cart. <sighs> hmm? What are you smiling about, Kokumi? Uh huh? Oh. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> nothing. Nothing at all. Is this an answer from this world? Take it easy. Welcome back! Well, any good news? Oh, don't tell me! You've taken care of all the problems and now I don't have to do anything? Yeah! We even rode the choo-choo cart! Do you want to come ride too? <sighs> uh... But maybe you'll have to wait till tomorrow. I'm a little tired now. Hmm. Seems she had a little too much fun and now she's about to crash. I think it's time for a rest. Good idea. I think we could all use some downtime. Thanks for giving me some energy, Klee. Then we'll see you later. Bye, Mr. Honorary Knight. Bye, everyone. Well... It sounds like our young mage enjoyed herself. I'm so happy that she had a good time. So, back to the missing component. Did you bring it? You bet! Kaya said that the missing component was this orange climbing rope. Ah, it just occurred to me that you probably ran into the three brothers while you were in the canyon. If I remember correctly, the two eldest brothers were taking their sickly younger brother on adventures when they ran into a sandstorm and ended up here. They were all arguing with one another when they first arrived, but it wasn't long before they broke down and were huddled together in tears. Uh, 
They sure must have a lot of energy to keep up their bickering and adventuring every day. I'm a little worried about them, yet quite envious of all that energy. <laughs> you almost sound as if you're reminiscing about old friends, Idea. Yes, I've known them for quite some time after all. But I seldom go to that area. You can hold on to the rope for now, Traveler. I have no use for it until we have the other components. By the way, Eula and Kale have also returned, but I'm afraid they weren't able to make much headway. They mentioned that they would like to head to the jungle north of here, once you have all rested up. Now that I've told you everything, I'll go rest. Uh, I mean, I'll go and check on the situation in the remaining two areas. Do you need me to accompany you? Oh, uh, no, it's all right. You've already accomplished a lot today. You should rest up. Who would have known I'd find myself in such a mess? Oh, after all that talk with Alice about letting her daughter visit, too. <sighs> but just as the general said, if we can restore the domain, then... You promised to tell me the story about the genie in a bottle if I didn't run off, remember? Ah, uh, yes. All right. Where did I leave off? Oh, I remember. The genie came out and was going to eat the shepherd boy who opened the bottle. Right. As the genie opened its wide, menacing mouth, the shepherd boy suddenly had an idea. Did he throw a Jumpy Dumpty into the Ginny's mouth? <laughs> I'm sure that's what he would have done if he had a Jumpy Dumpty. But the Shepherd Boy didn't have anything like that. He said to the Ginny, Wait, how could your massive body fit inside such a small bottle? I won't ever believe it unless I see it with my own eyes. The genie became angry and said, Mwahahaha, foolish boy, you dare question my powers? The genie then returned inside the bottle, and the boy swiftly sealed it shut. Yay! That mean genie won't ever come out again! But... can the genie sleep inside such a tiny bottle? It's probably not very comfortable. No. But the genie was captured and sealed away in the bottle because it did many bad things. So the most important thing to remember is... If you do something bad and don't want to get locked up, then don't get caught. discovered some mysterious tracks that you can ride on using a super fun choo-choo cart. Ah, I heard something about that too. Apparently it's a cart that goes zipping along a terrifying course at an uncontrollable speed. Yeah, that should be the one. It seems that when the cart rolls down a steep drop, 
your body would start floating as if it was weightless. Really? Huh. I heard that Klee's bag almost flew away on the ride. If Kaya hadn't managed to quickly catch it, countless jumpy dumpties would have been thrown into the air. Oh no! <laughs> that sounds pretty dangerous. <sighs> but if you really want to go for a ride, I'll accompany you if I have time. Huh? But, Eula, <laughs> how did you know? I could tell that you wanted to try it. But let me make this clear. I won't be helping you pick up anything that flies out during the ride. So make sure you take everything out of your pockets beforehand. Uh, yes, of course! 